Hello! Welcome to LMC and Knowledge Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at. And whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus. Okay? Okay. So, before we get into this message, I'll use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. Okay, so before we get into this message, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm a singer, I'm a rapper. Um, I would love for you guys to check out my music and my playlist on this channel. I have a music video out I dropped December 2nd. It's a Juice World tribute and it's called You Gon' See. So if you haven't seen it, you should definitely see it, okay? Um, I love you so much for supporting me and both sides of me because music is my baby. Um, and I have another song called Earth Angel. I would love for you guys to check that one out too. So I'll put the link in the comments for those songs. And like I said, you guys can go to my playlist and check my other music out. Um, and you can also go to my community channel and scroll a few posts down. And you'll see my SoundCloud if you have SoundCloud. And that's where my mixtape is. I have about 10 songs on there. I would love for you guys to check that out too. So with that being said, the message of today is... And you take this if it resonates, okay? Their life hasn't been the same without you. When you left, you took the sun. <laughs> you were the light in their lives. I'm hearing Without You by Marsha Ambrosius. Brosius, Ambrosius. You guys should check out the, lyric, the lyrics to that song. Um, this person may have dealt with some type of addiction or something. Um, hold on one second. I'm gonna go lay down. Go, go lay down. Go, go lay down. Go, go lay down. Okay, so yeah, this person may have dealt with certain type of habits that were toxic or became it came in between you guys, is what I'm hearing. Maybe they were emotionally unavailable. Maybe you had to play mama to them or you just, you were, you expressed yourself more, you know? Um, they weren't going to learn a lesson until you left. And that was a part of the lesson. So staying with them would actually stunt their growth and actually cause you to spiral lower. So... It actually worked for the both of you guys. It worked for the both of you guys. And that's what was best for you guys' ascension in this lifetime. Um, you do deeply love this person. You you genuinely care. And you don't hate people. I'm here like, I just, I really love them and I wanted to see them grow. And it's like, you may always see the best in people. Like, you always see the best. And sometimes we try to ignore, okay. They're not the best right now, but I can see their potential. You see a lot of people's potential. So it's like you wanted to be there for and watch them grow. Maybe they had lustful issues. Maybe they were a cheater. Or maybe it was just like them having family issues and addictions that caused, um, caused a rift in between you guys. No, mama. No, mama. So, yeah. So with that being said... You were meant in this lifetime to walk out of people's lives. You were meant to be the heartbreaker in the end. So yeah, you may have, you know, got your heart broken by certain people in certain situations. But when I say you're the heartbreaker, it's not like, oh, I'm intentionally going to break your heart. It's like, you have to say no to people. You have to say, I have to leave. I have to go. I can't be here no more. Like, and you have to be strong. I'm looking at... That's crazy because I'm looking at this um, incident and it says strength. You had to have strength to do that, to walk out of people's lives. Because you don't like to let people down. You don't like to just, especially when you know that they could benefit. Like you, you bring, 
you are a helper. You're meant to help people, but sometimes we may help the wrong people, you know what I mean? Or we may help too much, and then it makes them codependent to you, you know? Some people don't really recognize your worth and who you are and your value until you leave. So maybe that was something that you had to do for yourself. Like, you're going to know who I am and what I'm here for when I'm not in your life. I've seen something, uh, and it was like, sometimes people... Let me see if I can look it up. But they were saying like sometimes people are too close to you to see how big you are. Sometimes people are too close to see how big you are. Let me see if I can find it. Mm -mm -mm. okay i don't think i can find it but basically it was just saying like once once they're not in your life they see like wow you're worth a lot like wow you're really more than what i thought you were but when they're too close they can't see they can't see that right but when you when you give them distance, they start to recognize everything that you've done for them and how you made them feel when you were around them. Because when you're not around them, your energy leaves, right? So then they start, they're forced to be in their own energy. Sometimes they felt like, you made them feel like life was just, like with you, life is perfect with them, you know, when you're around them. But when you're not, it's like the problems are tougher. Life is, the sky is cloudy. Like, it's just a dim type of energy. And, um, like, literally, your aura brings brightness in the room like a light, literally. And when you leave, even though the lights are on, it still gets a little bit dim, you know? You know, like, the settings, when you can set the settings on the um, light? And it's noticeably different. And that's what they're seeing. Like every second that they're away from you, they're realizing how much you truly meant to them. Um, so it's something. Hold on one more second. Because... Trying to find something. Else. I'm trying to show you guys something that I've seen. Hopefully, I can get it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm hearing that Neo song right now. Without you. Without you. Without you. Mm hmm. I can't take one more sleepless night without you, without, yeah, I don't think I can find it, you guys, I don't want to keep you guys holding on, uh, so yeah, let's just get back into here, because I don't want to keep searching and searching, um, yeah, so you help people awaken to their purpose by you taking the lead in life and doing what is right for you. You had to choose you in this situation. And you're here, literally, you are meant to walk out of people's lives. Like, because that sometimes people get a little too cocky. Like, they be thinking they, like... Like, they're just always in control or they're just so dominant. Like, maybe you made this person feel like they were dominant or they had so much control and you were just so submissive to them. Until you realize when, until they realize when they left and when you realize when you left, I am in control. Not saying you was controlling them at all because you gave them the space and energy to take the lead right but now once you take the lead they realize like I, I need you back I need you 
Why am I hearing some? I want you back. I want you back. Why well, want you? Want you back? Ooh. That's what I'm hearing. What the heck? What is that by? I don't know who's that by, but that's all I'm hearing. It's like I want you back. I want you back. Um. But yeah, that you are here to cut cords and soul ties. So maybe you told this person about like your spirituality and you let them know like, hey, this is a soul tie or hey, you're attached to other things and I feel the energy. It's like I'm hearing you're big on energy <laughs> and it's like you really have you had to put the situation to rest because it was it was stagnating you and your life and it's like you're not attached to demonic energy but this person is you had to go and heal you had to go heal that's what was best for you and you i'm seeing a restart you had to restart in something and but you're gonna be super successful with this now these people are like stalking your page they were breadcrumbing you in the past but now they're just always they want to stay up to date in your life maybe you're posting and stuff want to see hey do you got a new boo are you dating around are you with somebody are you working with somebody like are you working on a project like these people are really unsatisfied with what's going on in their life they're confused now they don't know what road to go they don't know what to choose um but you got a new guy on the way. If you're a woman, but if you're a if you're a man, you have a new man that's like that God is like they're prepared, they're getting prepared, you're getting prepared. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Literally like you're going to meet somebody who's your match. Like they have a seat, you have a seat. It's not like, "Oh, he's on the horse and you're on the seat." Type of energy. It's not going to be any of that. It's going to be we're on the same level. I'm only I'm only okay with being around people who are on the same level as me because they're not going to pull me down. You definitely had to walk away from people, persons, or situations. And I'm hearing multiple, not just one situation. To reach your happiness. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.